Hello, everybody. I just wanted to uh, introduce um, Tara here. She is a current client with Four Pillars. Um, and uh, as with all of these uh, testimonial videos that I, I get done, I just wanted to thank you very much for actually coming in and be willing to talk on camera because I know that is not easy. No. A little nerve-wracking. <laughs> so are you able to introduce yourself? My name is Tara Prescott from Dartmouth. And... Uh... Don't know what else to say. No, that's, that's okay. Easy. That's okay. Uh, so I, I just kind of want to get an idea of kind of before, during, and after the process. So I've got a few questions that I, I generally go through as standard questions. And so the first one is, um, are you able to tell us about your life before you dealt with your debt? How long had the debt been causing you stress? How was it impacting you? Um, and kind of just, just kind of life before dealing with your debt. Well, uh, aside from like the gazillion calls I'd get from the collectors. It was stressful because every month they didn't know if I'd have enough for the next month. And then you're borrowing more, borrowing more, borrowing more, which is obviously compiling the debt. And so it's pretty stressful, hard on the hard on the head and supporting the family wise. No yeah. doubt, no doubt. And I, and I know that you have um, kids. Did you find that the debt impacted that relationship a little bit in terms of, of what could happen, what couldn't happen and all this type of stuff? Yes, a lot of times. Well, because I just would have to borrow more. Yeah. Like I didn't let them feel it too much, but I'm sure they felt my stress. For like sure. When I was, because some months I'd be, after I'd borrow more, I'd be like, oh, this is great. We don't have to eat Mr. Noodles. <laughs> and then other times it was like, no. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Cool. Um, and so what was the turning point that really made you change from, from kind of just living, and I guess the paycheck to paycheck lifestyle to, to really wanting to focus down and, and dealing with this? Well, I had gotten a car, a new vehicle from yeah. my my generous aunt and I had missed a letter well I knew about the court date but with the stress of everything I didn't keep track of it and uh, they said they could take my seize my assets yeah. and so that included my beautiful new <laughs> vehicle so that made me move a little faster I like I was looking to do it before it was just never enough time never ever enough time and yeah. then obviously yeah for sure and, and how long do you think it was from the point that you realized that you were um kind of struggling financially um, to the point um, that you, you, you dealt with the debt. So the reason why I'm asking is because um, they say that it takes a client on average 18 months of trying to solve the situation themselves before they reach out for professional help. So do you find that timeline kind of matches with your own? It does. It might have been a little longer only because I was living off the credit card before yeah. then too. So if before sure. it compiled to the, the payday loans, it was it was still manageable, I would say. For sure. Or I thought so. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um, and do you mind sharing um, how much debt you had before? I had 73, roughly 74,000. Okay. I believe it was. Maybe it was 76,000. It was and, a lot. <laughs> and what were we able to get that down to? 12,000. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, yeah that's that, that's fantastic. Um, and so how was that process in, in, in working with us? And you can be honest here, right? Because I know <laughs> that it, it's definitely stressful. It's not an easy process per se, but what was your experience? It was really easy, actually, because oh, you made me very comfortable. You explained everything very thoroughly. Um, and then it was just a matter of coming in and, and uh, dealing, dealing with, with me. The paper. <laughs> yeah, and, and you're easy to deal with. It was a wonderful experience, actually. Awesome, awesome. Um, do you feel like you could have done the whole process alone without our support? No. No. I tried to. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I even had gone at one point to student loans, yeah. and they had... You know, I'd sent them, I'd borrow more money, sent yeah. them almost 5000 Yeah. And then I ended up right back where I was again. That's 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 definitely a common trend that I see. Um, people, it, it's, it's, it's this weird phenomenon that happens where when you're dealing with financial stress, um, the decisions you make are based upon that stress, right? And so, you know, you go get the loan to pay off the, or make a payment onto the debt, which is really a temporary one or two month solution. Makes you feel good for a little bit, but then it, it kind of just snowballs um, further past that point, right? Um, so, um, we already talked about the end result, but how do you feel now? What are your stress levels now? Um, and is life at least a little bit easier? Much easier. Awesome, love yeah. it, love it, cool. I just have a, a payment a month. That is done and, and I have no one calling now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very glad about that. Um, okay, so the last question that I have is if you had one thing to tell other people that are struggling with debt, um, that are hesitating to deal with it, um, which we see a lot, right? Um, what would you tell them? To stop struggling. Yeah. Because it's just so much easier to have somebody professional deal with it. For I mean, sure. You're obviously, if we were... <laughs> We were good at all oh, that part messed up. For sure. <laughs> we couldn't do it alone. Yeah, no doubt. To stop doing trying to do it alone. Definitely. 
less stressful. Definitely. So just reach out, take that step, and, and kind of, and, and I mean, the worst case. Now, um, you, I mean, you can attest to it being through the process, right? The initial consultation is just talking, figuring out what options yeah. are available. Um, you didn't sign anything, agree to anything the day of. No. Um, you leave, you think about it, you figure out what works best for your situation, and then from there, you can make an actual educated decision um, once you've got all the details, right? Um, so yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm glad. So. I really appreciate your time. Is there anything else you want to say? No. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Uh, I, it's been, been a wonderful, wonderful experience. Like, uh, awesome. I really appreciate that. I could do that. a happy dance, I would. But <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that, that's fantastic. And really appreciate you again for, for being able to do this. And um, I know it's not easy to get in front of camera and tell no. people, but uh, I'm glad that, that you're able to do that. So thank you. Thank you for everybody uh, that's watched the video. And uh, have yourselves a wonderful day. And thank you. <laughs>